Jay McTie. I'm an education author and consultant. And my main work is around understanding by design, uh, which is a framework for curriculum planning, for assessment design, and ultimately for teaching, with the goal of teaching for understanding and transfer. The key ideas in understanding by design are, are contained in its title, and there are two. Uh, number one, we propose that we teach and assess for understanding and transfer. And some people would say, well, of course, doesn't every teacher want their students to understand what they teach? Well, perhaps, but the devil's in the details. To say we're committed to teaching for understanding raises an immediate question. What's worth understanding in all of the content that we could teach? And this is a challenge for teachers because every subject area has so much content. And there are also some things we value in school that transcend subject or discipline areas, like critical thinking, creativity, the ability to work with others. So the challenge of so much that we could teach is addressed in part by saying, but what's most worth understanding? And we propose in a straightforward way that what we want students to understand are the larger transferable concepts and processes within and across subjects. If we're clear about those big ideas that we want students to understand, it gives us a way of prioritizing our teaching and focusing our curriculum. It also implies that we're going to assess for understanding, meaning just because a student knows things doesn't mean they understand it. So it suggests that our assessments include not just tests of facts or basic skills, but assessments that have students to show their understanding through transfer. Can you use what you've learned? in a new situation. Can you explain it in your own words? Can you teach it to someone else? So the first part of UBD is teaching and assessing for understanding, ultimately with the goal of having kids transfer their learning. And our curriculum planning is done accordingly. The second big idea in understanding by design is by design. And we refer to a process that we call it, quote, backward design where we're planning backward from the end, and the end is understanding and transfer. Not covering content, not marching through textbooks, not doing fun activities only. We're teaching and assessing for understanding and transfer, and we plan backward for that. The idea of backward design or backward planning is certainly not new. We do it when we plan a vacation. Um, we do it when we design a house. But in teaching, it's sometimes the case that teachers tend to get perhaps somewhat narrowly focused on all the material they have to cover or marching through a textbook. And that's not backward design. That's just covering things. So backward design is a way of thinking, a way of planning. And in UBD, we have a planning template that guides teachers uh, in this process. Those are the two big ideas of understanding by design.